and welcome back. Uh, today I'll be going over some uh, basic programming in the uh, Beofing. This one was specifically the UV5RM. Uh, first thing I like to do is uh, know what I'm inputting. Um, so today I'm just going to input this uh, uh, frequency 146.520. It's the uh, 2 meter simplex calling. I found that on radioreference.com and this here is a repeater um, it's a little bit more into programming that into a channel because you have your frequency that you're receiving on you have the frequency you're transmitting on then this has a tone for uh, receiving and transmitting uh, to open up the repeater so uh, two websites I recommend is radioreference.com uh, you go on there and it'll you can uh, select by state and county and see different things uh, real good for looking for Aries and Skywarn stuff, emergency management. Um, so that way you can have those programmed in your radio for your area or areas you may go to in an emergency. Um, repeaterbook.com, they also have an app for your phone that's on uh, Google Play Store and on the App Store for iPhone. Um, Repeaterbook. So that one uses your location and tells you the repeaters close to you. Um, now, the one thing to remember is it may not always be completely up to date. All right, so I've got those down so that way I know what I'm doing when I start programming. So next thing, I'm, I'll am i get to this here in just a second. But uh, my antenna is off, so I'm not going to be transmitting at all while doing this. But uh, you go ahead and you turn your radio on. So what I like to do is, because you can always, when you go into your menu, through your green button over here, um, bring up your menu options, you've got your up and down arrow, you can scroll through your menu options. All right, And you can do that for everything you're going to do on here. But what I like to do is I like to write down, if I don't have a memorized, the, uh, the stuff I know I'm going to be using. So like your save... Your channel save uh, for me is channel is menu option 30. So as you see I'm here in the menu. I type in three zero. Let me try that again. Three zero. See it brings up that menu option. So now I can save this frequency that I'm on to I can overwrite channel one. So my channel one's already being utilized. Um, let me get back to that. I forgot to hit the menu button. Sorry about that. But uh, you hit that menu button. So I know my 200s are free. So I'm going to go 200. So see that channel is not taken because it just says 200. But if I go up and I scroll up through here, I will finally get to, if it says channel in front of it, you've already got a memory channel there. Um, so that's one that I like to use uh, on mine. Delete channel in case I've got to delete it. Right over here is a 31 on mine. For your tones or your receive and transmit CTCSS, since I'm only doing, uh, I'm not doing anything with DCS, uh, 10 and 12. Otherwise, that would be 11 and 13, at least on my Beofeng. So you want to go through your menu options, and I think it's a good idea to write these down so that way you can program this a little bit faster. Like I said, you can just scroll through with your arrows to find this, but to me this just makes this process a little bit faster. So first thing I'm going to show you is the simplex calling. So these are very simple uh, to program. So basically what you'll do is you'll make sure uh, whatever your main channel is, you're in VFO mode or frequency mode. VFO stands for, uh, I believe it's variable frequency oscillator. Um, but that's your frequency mode where it's just your frequency, nothing saved. So with that, I'm going to write over here, 146520. 146520. All right, 146520. All right, so I've got that on there. So now I want to save this to channel 200 to my memory channel 200 so I'm going to go into my menu here and so I'm going to act as though I'm back at square one here now like I said I can scroll all the way my memory channel was 30 in my option so I can scroll all the way to 30 
or I can just type in three zero and it brings up memory channel. So to enter this option, you hit the green button again. All right, and so I wanna save it to channel 200. So I typed in 200, now it's there. Now if I wanna save it here, I hit the green button again, and you see how uh, it now has channel next to 200. So to show you that's on there, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch over to my B channel, which is already in MR, memory mode or channel mode. And I'm gonna type 200. So 200 has got that simplex channel in there. So that is a basic programming of a simplex channel. Uh, the way I'll explain a simplex channel is that's radio to radio. Um, kind of like using a walkie talkie. Um, now you can set, you know, RCT, CSS or TCT CSS so that way it can be a more private conversation um, to where somebody has to enter that code to hear your conversation if you're going to be talking on that channel. But uh, this is the national two meter simplex calling frequency uh, that I looked up. So that's how you program that. So next I'm going to switch back over to my frequency channel, channel A, and uh, I'm going to show you how to program this uh, repeater. Now there's two ways to do this. Um, and I'm gonna show you both of those. So on most of your um, offsets on the frequency you're receiving on and the frequency you're transmitting on, um, there's gonna be a difference. So you see this is 147.000. This one's 147.600. So that has a plus of 0 0.600 so I'll show you that here in just a moment um, but what we're going to do is I'm in my frequency mode over there on channel A so I'm going to type in 147.000 alright 147.000 there we are so if I want to put this repeater in so with this repeater I've got what I'm receiving on is the 147000, that's what I'll hear on. Then I'm gonna have my transmit right here, and then a tone and a tone in. So I need to set my R and T C T C S S. So what I'm gonna do with this, I'm gonna go into my menu. Alright. Um, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and go to option 10 and then to 12 to set my tone in and out. So I'm going to go 10 and this tone is 103.5 so you click the green button to enter it and you can scroll through here um, go to 103.5 so you see that's right there or I can also type in 103 and then scroll to 0.5 so that way you don't have to scroll through all the options you hit the green button again to accept that so now my RCT CSS is set right here then I go to option menu option 12. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to enter in and go to that 103.5. Then I'm going to hit the green button to select it. So now my tone is set. All right, so now I want to go to the uh, SFTD. That's your shift direction. Uh, for me, that's menu option 28. Now that's where this plus 0.600 comes in. So here, I'm gonna enter into this option. I'm gonna go down to the plus option and select it. I'm gonna to go to my next menu option of 29 is for the offset. Now my offset amount is 0 .600. So I'm gonna type six, whoops. See, that's what happens when you're not paying attention to what you're doing. <laughs> I'm gonna go back to 29 here. Um, enter into it, then hit six. I'm sorry, forget that. So we're gonna go into that and we're gonna hit zero, 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 six, zero, zero. So because there's nothing in front of that period, you've gotta input the stuff before that decimal point or period um, as zeros. That'll get you that right there. So I've got that set since I hit the green accept button. Um, so I've got that. So then I'm going to go to my uh, memory uh, memory channel 30 in the in here. 
All right, so I'm gonna enter into that. I'm gonna go down. Channel 201 is where I'm gonna save this one. Accept that. All right, come back out. So I'm gonna switch down here to channel B. I'm gonna go to 201, 147.000, right? And then to show you that this got inputted and is working. So you can see I've got a tone because it's got the uh, little circle C right there. Now the plus means this has an offset, a plus offset. Now when I hit that, you see it changes it to 0.6. Again, I have no antenna attached to my radio, so I am not transmitting to anyone. Um, plus this is uh, from another state for this uh, repeater. So, um, but yeah, so when I hit this button, boom. See there, it goes to 147.6. 000, I let off my push to talk and it's back to here. So that's how you do that. Now I'm going to show you one more way of doing this um, and save it to channel uh, 202. So, what I'm going to do is go back up here to my VFO mode 147000, go into my menu. All right, so now I'm going to go to option 10, I'm going to go to 103.5. Select that. I'm going to go to option 12 for my transmit to 103.5. Select that. All right. And now I'm not going to do my offset as of right now. So now, instead of going to the uh, menu option 28 or 29, I'm going to go straight to option 30. Type in 30. Enter into that. Go down to channel 202, select, all right. So now in channel 202, or in channel 201, I've got this right here. But you see there's no plus or minus there because I don't have an offset set on it right now. So what I'm gonna do now is go back into my menu and you see this put the frequency is 147, got 147.600. This is the way it's listed on the website I got it from. So from here, what I can do is uh, go back to my frequency channel A and input 147600. All right, so you see I've got that up here. Now I'm gonna go back into my menu. I'm gonna go back over here to my RCTCSS and go to my 103.5. Transmit CTCSS, 103.5, select it. Now I'm going to go to my memory channel. And so I've already got the 147.000 there. But I'm going to go in, I'm going to add that to there. All right, that's 202. So now when I go back here, since I added them both to 202, it's giving me a plus right there. So just to show you, switch over to here, hit that push to talk on 202, I've got that set as well. So you can input your, your listening frequency or your receiving frequency first, and then input your transmit frequency onto that same memory channel, and that'll keep you from having to do your plus and minus, especially if they don't give you that and you don't want to work out your math on plus and minus and all that, because it's not always .600, so... Um, that's just a basic overview of how to program your Beofang. I appreciate y'all listening in. Y'all have a great day.